So the other day I was catching up on a few fights. I watched Anselmo Moreno versus Yamanaka and Chocolatito Cuadras. And it just dawned on me that, that that's the reason why I watch boxing. I catch, I watch boxing for the bones that are thrown at us. The bones once in a while we get these great fights. Sometimes they're great fights that we know are going to be great fights before the fights is even contested, like Salido versus Vargas, everybody knew that was going to be a great fight, and I did everything in my power to go watch that fight live at the StubHub, and it was incredible. It was an incredible experience, especially because Ali had died the day before. It was, it was awesome, but not that Ali died, of course, but just the ambience of, of the StubHub, but it dawned on me that boxing, boxing is worth it. It's worth all the politics. It's worth all the crap that goes on in the sport. It's worth all the baiting, all the race baiting that is going on in the YTBC and in Twitter and w within all the fans. That really turned me off this year. That's one of the main reasons that I stopped watching boxing was because all the race baiting going on and all the bull crap between fans and interacting with each other. It was just... It was bad. It just doesn't make us look good at all. That's why I took a break from boxing for a while, watching boxing, making videos. And now I'm trying to make videos consistently again for you guys. So if you have any ideas, pitch them at me. I'll do a video on them. But yeah, it dawned on me that boxing is worth it. It's worth me keeping up with because when it's good, it's just so good. And we don't watch... We don't watch because of the politics. We don't watch because this guy's getting paid this. We watch because there's two warriors who are the best at what they do. Go at it. That's when you get great fights. When two guys give everything in their power to give the fans a great fight. To to sometimes just survive in there. So Some guys are just so good at their craft that you're in awe at their performance. Guys like... Errol Spence, like Chocolatito, like Gennady Golovkin, like Kovalev, man. These guys are fun to watch. We watch because we're we want we are entertained. It's fun to watch boxing. And and it, it's it just dawned on me that th this is why. These great fights, these great matchups, like the Thurman Porter, like um Carl Frampton versus Leo Santa Cruz. We watch for these type of matchups. We live, we live, guys, for these type of matchups. This is what I give a fuck about. There's a lot of things that that we give a fuck about in life that isn't worth it. Small things that don't matter, but we worry about it. But something that could be so great that's worth worrying about, like the state of our sport. Like, trying to make boxing better. Like, fights not getting made. That's worth talking about. For me, for me, it's worth talking about. Because boxing could be great. And it is. It is when you have two great competitors, when you have two great mat, when you have great matches being made. When it's good, it's good. And when it's good, it makes money. When it makes sense, right? If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. But when it makes sense, it makes dollars. When it's a good matchup, it makes money. That's why guys like Salido consistently get big paydays or paydays. It's big paydays compared to what we're making, right? Or most of us. Or me. <laughs> I'm broke. But it's, it's good money compared to what he could have gotten had he been working at a factory in Ciudad Obregón in Sonora. We live for these type of stories, right? Some poor Mexican guy that living in a train became a three-time, a three-division world champion. That's Julio Cesar Chavez, right? He lived in a train, and, and now he's rich, millionaire, perhaps. I think he's a millionaire. He definitely made millions of dollars throughout his career. But we watch for those stories. We watch for the great matchups. We watch for guys like Johnny Tapia finally getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. That's why we put up with everything. That's why we keep, keep up with it, and it's definitely worth it. Thanks everybody for watching. Peace.